because we are a minority within a minority, the intersectional um, challenges we face um, are, you know, an everyday occurrence. Um, what we need to do as um, First Nations Australians who particularly live in Queensland in the next 10 days is encourage family members who may not have had their first vaccination um, to go and get vaccinated. That way it protects um, us as individuals with disabilities um, as much as you know, our other family members. But I just think if you've got underlying health conditions, it's really important that you front up and you stand in line and get your injections. Because if you don't, you run the risk of, you know, being in hospital and seriously ill or possibly passing away from complications with this particular virus. You have the right to be counted as one of the core groups of vulnerable people in Queensland to be vaccinated and supported to be vaccinated. As the Premier said, you know, you've got basically 11 days to do this. Um, my final word is that it's important and we need to be one voice in getting this positive message out to people that you know, if you want to continue living a happy, reasonably healthy life, part of, part of what we've got to do now is get as many of us vaccinated um, with at least your first dose in the next 11 to 12 days but you also need to be able to get family members to support you to do that um, and stand in line with you and make sure that your welfare and your well-being is you know first and foremost on people's minds to help you get through what is a challenging time.